God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. God bless everyone. Today we got a pretty good, pretty long one, man, and a real important and detailed. So today is Exodus 12, Sunday, May 17th, 2020, 5-17-20. Yesterday we read um, Exodus 11. Uh, the Lord says he will put one last plague on Egypt and his wonders will be multiplied in Egypt and the Pharaoh will free the Israelites. Alright, so here we go. Exodus 12. The Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in Egypt, the Lord's words, this, this month is to be for you the first month, the first month of, the, of your year. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the tenth day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share one with their nearest neighbor, having taken into account the number of people there are. You are to determine the amount of lamb needed in accordance with what each person will eat. The animals you choose must be a year must be year old males without defect, and you may take them from the sheep or the goats. Take care of Take care of them until the 14th day of the month when all, when all the members of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they are to take some of the blood and put, put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses where they, where they eat the lambs. So they got to put blood on, on their door frames. At the same night they are to eat the meat roasted over the fire along with bitter herbs and bread made without yeast. Do not eat the meat raw or boiled in water, but roast it over a fire, with the head, legs, and internal organs. Do not leave any of it till morning. If some, of, if, if some is left till morning, you must burn it. This is how you are to eat it, with your cloak tucked into your belt, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. Eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Alright, so I highlighted under my likes on the tenth day of this month. So I don't know why, like um something stuck out about that. Like I'm trying to figure out what day everything so on the first day of the first month basically. So January 10th. Cause that's the uh Lord's words. On, the, on that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn of both people and animals. And I, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. I, under my likes, I highlighted, I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. I like that, man. So, this is a day, this is a, a day you are to commemorate for, gen, for the generations to come. You shall celebrate it as, as a festival to the Lord, a lasting ordinance. For seven days you are to eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, remove the yeast from your houses. Whoever eats anything with yeast in it from the first day through the seventh must be cut off from Israel. On the first day, hold a sacred assembly and another one on the seventh day. Do not work at all on these days except to prepare food for everyone to eat. That is all you may do. Celebrate the festival of unleavened bread. Because it was on this very day that I brought your divisions out of Egypt. Celebrate this day as a lasting ordinance for, for the generations to come. 
In the first month you are to eat bread made without yeast. From the seventh or from the evening of the fourteenth day until the evening of the twenty first day. For seven days no yeast is to be found in your house houses. And anyone, whether foreign foreigner or native born, who eats anything with yeast in it, must be cut off from the community of Israel. Eat nothing made with yeast. Wherever you live, you must eat unleavened bread. Alright. So that was God's words. God said all that. So, um, how I, I'm writing um, do's and don'ts, all the do's and don'ts out of the Bible. So that's real, real specific and real kind of like, not confusing, but you just got to read into it, detailed and no yeast, all that. So I just put, um, Exodus 12, 3, because it says, tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, so I think, uh, um, all right, it says, this month is to be for you the first month, the first month of your year. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each man is to take a lamb. That's when the Passover is. That was in the beginning. That was um, 12... Three. All right, Exodus twelve three. Or twelve Exodus twelve two to twelve three says uh, the first month of the first year. So that's like January tenth. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I'm gonna look into it more. So I, I, to look into this and to know what to do on Passover, I put on um, Exodus twelve three is important, and Exodus Exodus twelve. 14 through 20 is important. And Exodus 12, 43 through 49. If you read all that, you'll, you'll understand what to do. And on the do's and don'ts, I, I mark with a little star on the side. So I marked um, Exodus 12, 3. Exodus 12, 14 through 20. Exodus 12, 43 through 49. On the do's and don'ts. So you got to look into it and understand what you can. Alright, I highlighted under my likes too, um, all of this, Exodus uh, 12, 14 through 20, I highlighted all that under my likes, cause, alright, let's roll. Then Moses summoned all the elders of Israel and said to them, Go at once and select the animals for your families and slaughter the Passover lamb, slaughter the Passover lamb, take a bunch of hyssop, Dip it into the blood in the basin and put some of the blood on top of on top and on both sides of the door frame. None of you shall go out of the door of your house until morning. When the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians, he will see the blood on, on the top and sides of the door frame and will pass over that doorway. And he will not permit the destroyer to enter your houses and strike you down. So they're putting blood all over their door frames so the so God knows not to strike them with the with the plague. But I put under my likes, he will not permit the destroyer. So it's not him just striking him down. There's a he's sending the destroyer out to do it. So it's not just God striking him down. There's a he's sending the destroyer. He will not permit the destroyer. Alright? Obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants. When you enter the land that the Lord will give you as He promised, observe this ceremony. And when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Then tell them, it is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when He struck down the Egyptians. All right. Then, then the people bowed down and worshipped. The Israelites did, did just what the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. Alright, under my likes, I highlighted. Uh, and when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Uh, tell them, it is the Passover. Tell them, it is the Passover sacrifice to the Lord who passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Alright, so that's, 
I highlighted that under my likes because that's the real definition of why we celebrate Passover. And I'm going to read everything detailed a little later and try to figure out what exactly, what day we're supposed to celebrate Passover and what exactly we're supposed to do. Because hopefully we're doing it right when we celebrate Passover. But one thing that's important is, is the reason why we're celebrating Passover. So I'm going to write that under do's and don'ts too. Um, Exodus 12, 26 through 27. Exodus 12, 26 through 27 is the reason why we celebrate Passover. The reason why we celebrate Passover. Alright. So the reason, alright. Then the people bowed down and worshipped. The Israelites did just what the Lord commanded Moses and Aaron. At midnight the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt. From the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on the throne to the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon and the firstborn of all the livestock as well. Pharaoh and all his officials and all the Egyptians got up during the night and there was loud wailing in Egypt for there was not a house without someone dead. The Exodus During the night Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Up! Leave my people, you and the Israelites. Go, worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and herds as you have said and go. And also bless me. The Egyptians urged the people to hurry and leave the country. For otherwise, they said, we will all die. So the people took their dough before the yeast was added and carried it on their shoulders in, in kneading troughs wrapped in clothing. The Israelites did as Moses instructed and asked the Egyptians for articles of silver and gold and for clothing. The Lord had made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people and they gave them what they asked for. So they plundered the Egyptians. The Israelites journeyed from Ramesses to Succoth. There, there were about 600,000 men on foot besides women and children. Many other people went up with them, and also large droves of livestock, both flocks and herds. With the dough the Israelites had brought from Egypt, they baked loaves of unleavened bread. The dough was without yeast because they had been driven out of Egypt and did not have time to prepare food for themselves. Now the length of time the Israelites lived in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of the 430 years to the very day, all the Lord's divisions left Egypt because the Lord kept vigil that night to bring them out of Egypt. On this night, all the Israelites are to keep vigil to honor the Lord for the generations to come. All right, I had it under my likes. Now the length of the time the Israelite, the Israelite people lived in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of the 430 years to the very day, all the Lord's divisions left Egypt because the Lord kept vigil that night to bring them out of Egypt. On this night, all the Israelites are to keep vigil to honor the Lord for the generations to come. Passover Restrictions The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Lord's words, these are the regulations for the Passover meal. No foreigner may eat it. Any slave you have, you have bought may eat it after you have circumcised him. But a temporary resident or a hired worker may not eat it. It must be eaten inside the house. Take none of the meat out, outside the house. Do not break any of the bones. The whole community of Israel must celebrate it. A foreigner residing among you wants a, a foreigner among you who wants to celebrate the Lord's Passover must have all the males in his household circumcised then he may take part like one bo like one born in the land no uncircumcised male may eat it 
The same law applies both to the native born and to the foreigner residing among you. All the Israelites did just what the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron. And on that very day, the Lord brought the Israelites out of Egypt by their divisions. Alright, under my likes, I highlighted them. These are the regulations for the Passover meal. No foreigner may eat it. Any slave you have... I highlighted all that because I highlighted um, um, 12, Exodus 12, 43 through 49. And I put stars, I put stars um, for do's and don'ts from there too because that's another instruction that we got to follow. But... Yeah, that's it for today. All the Israelites did just what the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron. And on that very day, the Lord brought the Israelites out of Egypt by their divisions. So there's a lot in there that we got to um, take into account, you know. Under, under the do's and don'ts, I'm writing a bunch of stuff. So that's, that's a lot to be, a lot of specific things we got to follow. But the important stuff you got to... You got to look at is Exodus 12, 3, Exodus 12, 14 through 20, and Exodus 12, 43 through 49. God bless everyone. Have a great day. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. <laughs>